Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Let's look at the easiest way on how to clone a VM. Uh, we are using the free version of ESXi, so you can't, you know, the clone feature, which is normally available on vCenter, isn't available to you, but there are ways that you can clone that VM quite easily and quite simply. So let's look at how to do that right after this. So my name is Emilio, I work in IT and I absolutely love it. And we are looking at VMware, right here we've got version 6.5, but this will also work on 6.7. Uh, and we're gonna look at how to clone a VM. So if I have a VM right here, I've got a VM called vCenter, and I right click on this VM, I've got no options here to clone my VM. I can't do it uh, because it is running a free version of ESXi, so I'm connected here into a, um, a vSphere web console, right? So I'm connected directly into my ESXi host. You could be using this in a home demo lab environment or in a business that does not have vCenter running. And you wanna know the easiest way, how do I clone it without uh, having the fancy stuff, right? The fancy vCenter environment. The easiest thing you could do is you have to go into your data store. All right, so let's go into our data store. Now you want to shut down your VM, whatever file you want to copy, shut down that VM before you actually copy the files. It's the best way to ensure that the data is integrate, has integrity and, and has all of the, there's nothing missing on it, it's not corrupted, etc. So go into your data store, right click on your data store and click on browse. And if it's the correct data store, you'll see a folder in there that mimics the same name as your VM. May not always, you know, may not always be the case, but we go into vCenter and in here I've got a file called vCenter.vmdk. This is essentially the hard drive, the C drive or the hard drive of the vCenter VM. All right, you can easily reference this by, if I close out of that and I right click on my VM itself and go into edit settings, you'll see that from within here, once it pops up, If I expand hard disk, you'll see right here, it's got the name of the data store, vCenter, and it's vCenter.vmdk. So we know that we're talking about the correct, the correct disk, all right? So back into here, browse, vCenter. So we wanna copy this file, right? We wanna copy this disk, because this is the only disk that we care about. If there are more than one disk, if you have a C drive and a D drive perhaps, you'll have two vmdk files, you wanna copy them both, okay? So what we want to do is we want to select, select copy. All right. Before I do that, I'm going to create a new folder in here because I need to destination place for some for, for the files. Right. So let's just call it vCenter new and create. All right. Now we're going to select that disk and say copy. We want to copy it to vCenter new and copy. Now, depending on the size of this disk, uh, it may take a little bit of time to copy. But in my case, this is 40 gig. So if I go into vCenter new, you'll see that now I've got a disk in here called vCenter.vmdk. Nice and easy. So then really the next step then is to create a brand new VM or have an existing VM and just add that disk into it. So I can then easily just go and create a brand new VM and just add this disk. So let's go ahead and create a brand new VM. So we're gonna call this VM, brand new VM, create new VM, we're gonna call it vCenter new. Let's call it vCenter 2, actually. We're gonna leave the compatibility as is, the guest operating system, and the 2016 as the OS. Next, select my storage. Well, it doesn't really matter, but, uh, well, it sort of does. Select the storage where, you, where the VM is gonna reside, right? Now in here, I've got an option around the disk drive, okay, once this shows up, because by default, it's gonna create a new hard drive. Now, if you're gonna add this as a brand new hard drive, you can go ahead and do that, and then just add it as disk two, or you can create a, you can delete this hard drive altogether. So I can delete this hard drive, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. I'm gonna select add hard disk, an existing hard disk, all right? So this is a hard disk that already exists and we know that is located in a particular location. So we've copied that file into vCenter new, and here it is, all right? So whether I've copied it or moved it from a particular folder, this is where the file is, vCenter.vmdk, 
and I can say select, and that is now essentially added that vCenter new slash vCenter into the appropriate location and it's referencing that particular file. Next and finish. So that will now build vCenter 2 and I now should be able to power that vCenter 2 and everything will work okay. Now the one thing you want to note is within storage, I want to right click and say browse. I've now got vCenter 2, a folder, with these couple of files, and I've also got a vCenter new folder with that VMDK file. So from a housekeeping point of view, uh, it, it's the same VM is referencing files in two different locations. So just be mindful of that. What you may also want to do is you may actually want to move and relocate this VM, physically move it into vCenter 2 and then re-add it again, essentially the same way that we just did it before, okay? We won't do that now, but just be, be aware of that. So if I now go into my VM, vCenter 2, I can now power that VM on, and I can console into it so I can actually see what's going on. And if all things have worked correctly, it should now be booting up into Windows. And you can see right there that it's booting up into Windows. So that is really the easy, easy steps uh, using uh, v, uh, vSphere 6.5 or 6.7. And I uh, hope you found it helpful and we'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.